All right. What's up, y'all? It's Hometown HVAC. We are replacing a geothermal flow center today. Here we are. We got the new flow center here. And we got the old one here. This is the geothermal for the pool. We got the pool right out here. It heats the pool. And it does a pretty well job. But right now we got a flow center that's constantly leaking. It's leaking out of the bottom here. Also got standing water in the top here. And I've got it leaking out of most of my couplings and joints here. So we're gonna change the whole flow system. Fill the system back up with, with water. Hopefully there's no other loops leaking or anything leaking. That way we don't have to dig the ground up. And then we will uh, get this new one on here. She's almost, almost drained. It didn't have much in it. So. that I was loosening with my screwdriver was this little this little guy here ground wire right here I've got to get get off and then we'll be able to have this thing up. all right we got her out we got our water line loose here it's leaking some water but I've got most of the pressure out of the system we've got it here too so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy off and we'll get the new one on here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and take this take this flow center off the wall. Hopefully it don't give me a fit. You see how corroded this thing is. It was leaking tons of water. So we got one bolt here. They did it different. They didn't use the they used this one, they didn't use the top one. So we're gonna take all these bolts out. Hopefully this thing will uh slide right off the wall for me. I got big old anchor screws in these things, so that way we know she ain't gonna come off the wall. I see it moving already, so we've got a little leeway. I'm gonna take these out here. And one more here. I see the whole flow center dropping down a little bit there. That's a good sign. That lets me know it's gonna move when we get it off. We don't want it to fall though. got it loose here I've let it go ahead and drain the rest of the residual water out the ones that's going to give me a fight is getting this end off once I get those loose we should be able to get the new circulation pump on the wall get everything hooked up get the system filled back up do a pressure test get it running make sure it's going to do everything we need we, we already got the water hose in here we got the geo kit and we got our pressure test when I got here it was only holding about 10 psi it's been leaking constantly. We finally found the leak down here in the pool house. So hopefully it's not going to be under the ground leaking somewhere else after we get this fixed. Yeah. All right. We got her undone. She's still just draining. Get close to finishing. So we got one side off. We we'll work on yanking this side off. And once we get it off, we'll have a new flow center on here. Yeah. Hold it right here for me, and, and I'm gonna try to thread these lines into it. This was the hard one, so. Right, 
it's tight and screwing on. All right, it's in. Let it down some. Got those as tight as I could get them. All right, and then when we get it on there, we'll tighten them down all the way. Okay. First, mm, I may have to force it this way. <clears throat> Do the bottom one first. All right, let her down. Hold on, let me push it this way so I'm gonna give you some space. There you go. There we go. Now let's push this one in there. Now push this bottom one as hard as you can towards the unit. Pushing it. Mm -hmm. All right. Using my leg too. Hold on, hold on. Don't push that hard. Right there, easy. Back off of it a little bit. There you go. Okay, we're good. You, you don't got to push anymore. this one just push it gently not super hard it's too hard all right you can let off there we go okay okay we're gonna need to find the holes where it was screwed in that pumps on there I think it looks pretty good get the pipe clamps back up on there we'll tighten it down here and here we'll get it really tight make sure it does not do any more leaking from there and then same thing here we'll tighten it here and here as tight as we can get it we'll take these two black caps off we'll run our wires in here We'll wire up our high voltage for both of the pump motors. We'll go ahead and open up our valves here. Got to plug in this one. Go ahead and cover them with these here caps. It says on here, hand tighten only. Screwdriver. We'll take these bad boys off. Get in here and wire this thing. So we're going to take these off here and here, here and here, unscrew it there on the inside. We're going to take this cable here. We're going to put this cable between here and here so we can have these two motors wired together there. So we just need this cable right here. Filling it back up with water. My dang GoPro died, so I haven't used my phone now. But we're getting it filled back up. Right now, if I cut it off, we're at oh, about 50 psi. That's good. I think it's taking just a little bit more. So give it about five more minutes. We'll check it again. 
if it's still at 50. And then uh, we're gonna let it ride.